All right, well, this is part three of the River Skiff build. Uh, we're gonna start um, actual uh, the actual building of the boat today. We're gonna start working on the, the bottom of the boat. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we have to do um, for, for the bottom is to uh, scarf the pieces together. So um, like I said previously, um, this is a three quarter inch um, honeycomb panel from uh, Carbon Core. Um, it's the same product as Plazcore, which is used by a lot of uh, drift, bolt, drift bolt builders, you will see. Um, one thing that you have to do is you have to get the length uh, needed. So this is a 4x8 sheet, um, but to get the length, you need to figure out how to connect um, pieces together. So um, I have this uh, jig created or template created right here that I will... Um, draw out on the dovetail keys that I have made. So this is just going to be a dovetail uh, key scarf um, that I'm going to use. So I'll draw it out, cut it out with a jigsaw to get the, the length that I need. So we'll do that uh, right now. All right, so we got the first uh, panel cut, the scarf. So the next thing that we're going to have to do is just trace out the the first scarf onto the second uh, piece of um, of a uh, honeycomb panel to uh, transfer the um, scarf to that, and then we'll cut that out as well. All right, so I got the scarf cut in uh, both of the pieces. Turned out pretty good. You'll notice a couple. There's some uh, a gap a little bit between. On the pieces, but what will happen is that um, I'll mix up some um, thickened epoxy and put it into uh, those cracks uh, to fill that. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is um, I have, you can see here, right here and right here, um, I have templates for the bottom of the boat. So I'm going to lay the out, those out on top of the sheet just so I get a general um, layout of all that I'm going to use um, for the Plazcore. This isn't super cheap as stuff, so instead of fiberglassing a whole sheet and making it not as useful, I'm just going to fiberglass uh, what I need as well. And that will also help um, save on epoxy so I know um, when, I'm, when I'm fiberglassing and Kevlaring this where I actually need to put uh, the epoxy down. So we'll take the templates and trace it out. All right, so for the, the layup schedule um, for the bottom of the boat, it's going to be actually different for um, the bottom side of the bottom of the honeycomb panel and also for the top side of uh, the panel as well. So for the bottom side of the bottom, that's where your abuse is going to happen from hitting rocks and, all, and dragging and all that. So that is the side that the Kevlar is going to be on, actually. So to start it off, um, I'll be doing that part of the layup. So remember, when I cut the keyed scarf, there's some uh, some openings or gaps between the, the dovetails. So what I'm going to be doing first is going in and filling those um, with epoxy um, or thickened epoxy. And then I'll be putting down, right away, I'll be putting down um, a tack coat after that. Um, what the tack coat is for is that the Kevlar uh, will float, I guess you would say, in the epoxy. It won't actually uh, bond to the panel um, by saturating it. So I'll put the thickened epoxy in the crack, put the tack coat down. I'll wait 45 minutes to an hour, and then I will come and roll um, or take the roll of Kevlar and roll it onto um, the piece and then cut it as needed. And then I will come through um, and I'll push the uh, Kevlar into uh, the epoxy to get the bond. And so then after that, I will let it sit for an hour and then I will come um, back and I'll um, put another a coat of epoxy over the rest of the bottom of the boat. Um, and then I'll, as soon as I'm done with that, that's when I'll put the six ounce uh, fiberglass cloth right over that. I'm not gonna wait up for a tack, tack coat um, for that because the, the epoxy will absorb, um, or the fiberglass will absorb the epoxy. So, and if needed um, that the epoxy or the fiberglass isn't saturated enough in spots, um, 
I will uh, put some more down for that. So that will be the bottom um, panel uh, schedule. Um, I should also say after I put on the fiberglass a couple hour, hour, two hours later, I'm going to be coming in and doing a fill coat um, for the fiberglass. Um, I'm doing this so I can sand the epoxy, not the fiberglass, when I'm doing uh, more work down the line. So then what I will do next is I'll flip the whole panel over and I'll do a very similar process but without the Kevlar. So I'll first, you know, fill, fill the cracks or joints um, in the scarf on the other side. And then I will just do the fiberglass though um, on that. So that's that'll be the schedule, or that's the the, the layup schedule for for each side. So really, it's the same except the only difference is how uh, the bottom side of the bottom will begin Kevlar, and the the top side of the bottom, or what the people in the boat boat will be looking at, won't have Kevlar um, on there. Uh, note is that um, what I'm doing for this Keat scarf, I'll be putting um, a, a board on top of it that is taped with um, some uh, sheathing tape um, to help and I'll put weight on that so to keep the, the key or the scarf or key scarf uh, flat to each other. Um, another thing that I will be doing is so after I flip the boat over and I'm um, working on the, the top side of the bottom um, that is the time that I'm going to introduce some rocker to um, the bottom panel so I'll screw it down in certain points um, to the table and then I'll put some blocks on the end and that will just help uh, create the rocker in there and then I'll do the, the fiberglass uh, work on the bottom or on the top side of the bottom for that so um, that's the plan that's the schedule uh, for the for the layup so I'll throw in some clips now of um, how I do it and how I set things up and just kind of progress. But I just wanted uh, to give you guys an idea of what I was gonna do since I'm probably, when I'm doing the actual epoxy work, I won't be talking to the camera just because with epoxy you have um, the cure time that you're, or pot life that you're battling. So just wanna let you know what I'm gonna do. So yeah, so let's get to doing the epoxy work. All right, so we're going to be working on right now um, applying the um, tack coat for the Kevlar. So I'll be uh, mixing up a batch of uh, epoxy and then using a foam roller to roll it onto where the um, Kevlar is going to be on the bottom of the boat. Um, as you can see, I have a line right here and a line on the other side going the full length of the boat. That is going to be where the Kevlar is going to be um, going um, for the and that's doing so that I can just apply the tack coat or the epoxy to that area um, so I don't waste epoxy. I just need to put it in that um, area. So I'll be mixing up a batch and uh, applying it with the roller and I'll pick it up uh, when I get that down. All right, so I got the tack coat done. You can barely see, you can kind of see the line right there. Um, but I'm gonna let this set up for it's, 80 degrees in here so it's quite warm so I, I'm thinking the epoxy will kick off uh, relatively quick or all I want to do is just to get it tack as it's described by the name so when I put a um, my finger on it with the rubber glove so that the glove uh, sticks to it but I'm able to pull it off um, so probably in like 45 minutes half hour I'll come back and check um, and so then when it gets to that point whenever it is I'll take the the sheet of Kevlar and roll it out between the lines and then I will press it into um, the epoxy after that. So I'll pick up when I get that done. All right, so I came out and checked the epoxy and it was tacky. So then I rolled out um, the Kevlar sheet as best I could between uh, the lines and then I used um, just a, a foam roller the same one that I used for spreading the um, epoxy out, or same style, I should say, um, to produce the tack coat. Um, I used that to help push the Kevlar down into um, the the fire or the into the epoxy. So I'll let this sit for some more time, half hour, forty five minutes, 
and then I'll come out and do the, uh, the fiberglass work on it. All right, so as I mentioned, I got um, the Kevlar rolled out and in the tack coat. It's been sitting now for a while. So the next thing that we're going to do is do the uh, fiberglassing uh, work with it. So what I'm going to do first is put down um, um, epoxy that will fill the weave of uh, the Kevlar first. And then right after that, I'm going to come over and then l put the fiberglass on um, and have a pre-cut uh, roll right here and I had also pre-cut um, the Kevlar as well so I'll I'll fill fill coat the Kevlar um, put down the the fiberglass and some of the epoxy from the Kevlar fill coat will um, saturate the epoxy as, or the fiberglass as well but I will we'll have to uh, mix up some more epoxy um, as well to do some uh, more of that so I'll pick that up uh, when I get this all done. All right, so I got the fiberglass all wetted out now. Turned out good. It's pretty warm in here, so it's kicking off quick. So when I guess tip is that when you're um, spreading out the epoxy and to spread it around, I just use some of these uh, rubber plasticky squeegees. Um, you want to make sure that when you sight down and get at the level that there's no super um, shiny spots. Um, if there's shiny spot, that means that there's excess epoxy, but you also don't want dry spots as well. So just sight down and you'll be able to um, see those. So I'm going to wait a couple hours, two hours total. Um, and then I'm kind of going to come back and do um, a fill coat on the fiberglass. Just going to use a a foam roller to apply that you do the fill coat so you have the ability to um sand um later because you don't want to sand into uh the fiberglass because if you sand into that you lose it loses its strength so you put that at that fill coat on so you can sand so i'll let this cure and uh we'll pick it up in a bit all right so it's been two hours since i uh Wet it out, uh, the fiberglass. Um, it's it's not tacky anymore, but you can still tell that it's somewhat soft. So you want to do it. Um, apply another coat in this case, uh, another coat of epoxy um, on right now, which is my fill coat, since it is still not fully cured, and I can get a, um, a chemical bond um, to it since it's not fully cured. So I'll be just rolling it on with um, one of the foam rollers that I did, the same one that I used for rolling out uh, the tack coat uh, for the Kevlar. Um, so I'll be doing that, but um, that'll be it for uh, this part of the build. Um, we'll be, I'll be letting this uh, cure over the next couple days to harden, um, and just because I don't have time right now, but then I'll flip it over and we'll do the other side, but um, there'll be a little different process on the other side. So. Stay tuned for that in the next part. So uh, thanks for watching.